Hi, Sam Milsar. There has been a delay with your essays. Let's take a look at what you wrote here. The first one is about uh, jobs while studying. So here's what you said. Um, so nowadays, some students prefer having part-time jobs while graduating. Graduating isn't the right word. It's, it should be while studying. Because um, graduating is what you do when you finish and when you, you know, get your degree, when you get your diploma, and there's a big ceremony. That's what it means to graduate. Okay? However, some argue that this could be harmful for their learnings. That's a little awkward as well, this word learnings. It could be harmful for their education would probably be a better word. In my opinion, having a part-time job while studying is more beneficial than damaging. Uh, this essay... We'll discuss this issue using examples to support this, the argument. All right, that's fine. Um, you know what I think is going on here? And this is what you just kind of probably heard me pause. You have a bunch of short sentences, and I feel like this would have been better if you had perhaps combined two of these ideas. Um, so like this, for example, nowadays, some students prefer ha having part-time jobs while studying. However, some argue that this could be harmful for their education. In my opinion, having a part-time job while studying is more beneficial than damaging, and this issue will be discussed uh, using examples to support, or not even, you don't even have to make this one sentence, but my point is, is that I think that this idea here about this, however, could, it could be harmful, it should have been connected either to the sentence before that um, or the sentence afterwards. Now, how could you have done that? You could have said, some argue that this could be harmful for their education. However, in my opinion, having a part-time job while studying is more beneficial than damaging. That would have been a great way to do this, okay? So, um, now here's the takeaway from all of this. You want to vary up your sentences. So, not too many short sentences, not too many long sentences, just provide some sort of balance here, okay? All right, so moving on. Firstly, recent research has shown that students decide to have a part-time job because they need the money to pay for their student's fee and living costs. Uh, it's usually student fees with no apostrophe S and just an S here at the end of fees. This is mainly because they are trying to avoid student loans, again, no apostrophe S, with high interest rates. For example, in the EUA, most students, get rid of this, need to get a loan to pay for the university fees as here. Consequently, after they finish, get rid of the ED school, they have a huge debt, which they can afford for. I don't know what that means. What does that mean, which they can afford for? it? That doesn't really make much sense. It's a little difficult to understand. So that needs some clarification. Um, so despite the fact that a part-time job consumes students, and here you need an apostrophe, time, um, which they could spend studying. The fact that they are not assuming any debts is, is a great advantage without this it. You don't need that. Okay, get rid of that it. Secondly, a part-time job can also be used, D, here, to improve student skills. Get rid of that S. Um, this is due to the fact that they are dealing with real situations in a real work environment. For example, they can learn how to be a team player, uh, how to work with deadlines, how to receive and give feedback, and other skills, no S here, that would be necessary when becoming a real professional. Consequently, the part-time job is also helping their career. Okay, that's fine. A little bit too much use of the word real, so you had real here, you had real here, and then where else did you have it here as well? Um, I think you could have probably found another word, unless you were doing it for effect. Um, and for emphasis, but I don't know if you really want to try to do that because uh, an examiner might not interpret it that way and might instead think like, well, you know, maybe this candidate just doesn't really have a, a wide vocabulary and that's why. All right, so um, to conclude from the arguments examples given, I firmly believe that, no comma here, although a part-time job will consume study time, get rid of the apostrophe S, there are more benefits and disadvantages for students who decide no, no D here, to work while well, studying. All right, that's fine. Um, I think you did a nice job with this essay. Uh, but the big concern for me here is all of that grammar. Um, there were a number of grammatical mistakes, and they were pretty consistent throughout the essay. So that's the thing that I would really like you to be aware of um, when you take your exam this weekend. Uh, try to do your best to um, prevent 
some of these errors in your grammar, okay? Uh, that's what I would like to do. As far as every other aspect of the exam is concerned, of the essay is concerned, it was a lovely job. So it was coherent, it was cohesive, it was, um, had, you know, nice vocabulary. Well, except for a couple of spots that I already talked about. Um, and I was okay with the task achievement part of it as well. Okay, so just be careful with the grammar. And now let's look at your second essay. All right, so now let's take a look at your task one. Uh, let's see. Dear sir, madam. Okay, fine. I'm writing to apply for the lawyer vacancy in the food and beverage sector of your company. I graduated as a lawyer in 2015. And since then, I have specialized in intellectual property and commercial law. Therefore, I am a well-qualified person, person for this vacancy, as you can see in more detail in my CV attached. Okay, fine. During my work experience, uh, mm, mm, that doesn't really quite work. During my work experience, I have worked in for two years. And eh, no. Uh, during my career, I have worked for two years in the food industry, which allowed me to understand this business environment. Consequently, I'm aware that this industry works at a fast pace with no E and is a highly, highly L-Y competitive environment no comma, which demands a creative and proactive person such as me. Besides being creative and proactive, okay, uh, I would have preferred a different way of doing this. You could have done a nice uh, synonym here or some sort of other form of cohesion. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, besides the above skills or besides the above mentioned skills, I am also friendly, organized, and punctual. Personality choices that are essential for a good in-house lawyer. There should be a dash in in-house. Now I'm currently looking for a new challenge in my career, and that is why the vacancy at your organization fits my future expectation. Note two. Uh, thank you for considering my application. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards. Okay. Um, let's see. The organization of your essay was good. Your letter, rather. It was very nice. Um, I agree with it. It was, you pretty much followed the prompt as it was uh, laid out for you, the outline. That was a good idea. Um, the one thing that I didn't really get, let me just tell you, it was this section right here. This is uh, clearly supposed to be about, um, about energy and enthusiasm. I know that's what you're trying to get across here. Um, I didn't really feel that this came across as successfully as you probably wanted it to. I think you could have said more in order to show your energy and enthusiasm. Um, how do you show energy and enthusiasm? Basically, you show it by going above and beyond the call of duty. Do things that are above what people expect of you. So that's something you could have done. So, for example, one thing you could have said here to show energy and enthusiasm is something like... Um, Perhaps you know that they have certain legal issues that come up over and over again in your company. So you could say that, you know, perhaps you've, you have um, obtained an additional certificate in, in, or training in order to deal with this type of legal issue uh, just because you are so passionate about working at this company. Now, that's something that would show energy and enthusiasm, okay? So those are the kinds of things I want you to keep in mind. Um, but I did like some of the other things you said, like in-house lawyer is nice, intellectual property is nice, uh, well-qualified person. Um, I already told you that I thought you should have done this a little differently to make it look more cohesive. Um, one last thing that we have to talk about before, um, we finish is your sign off. You wrote best regards. Um, I want to remind you that when you have a formal letter and you don't know the name of the person you are writing to, the appropriate closing is uh, yours faithfully. Keep that in mind. Examiners are always looking for that kind of thing, so be careful. Okay? Um, all right. Well, good job. I know you said your exam is coming up uh, very shortly, so I want to wish you lots of luck. Um, I understand that you still have some essays with us, so um, I'm hoping that you get the score you need and that you won't need any more corrections, but in the event that you do, please let us know so that we can continue working together. Okay? Best of luck to you. Um, and uh, we'll wait to hear your news.